man, this is really living. Hello and welcome to Prohibition Style Shaving. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a Canadian artisan. So the, her company is called um, Entrée Boulet et Moi. So today I'm going to be checking out Raz Bucket, her uh, <clears throat> uh, craft beer based soap. So her soap base looks like palm oil, stearic acid, or palm base, no, palm oil, stearic acid, coconut oil, glycerin, uh, parquet, I believe that is shea butter, water, beer, uh, ricin is castor oil, uh, fragrance, and silk. So this actually looks, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, so this is based on a vegan soap base. She does make the same uh, same soap. So this is the old soap. We actually have the tallow based and the vegan based and the bigger tubs on our website. You can check them out there. It's Raz Bucket. That's what it looks like there. So um, the scent on this is based on a soap from soap, a <laughs> beer uh, from Quebec. <clears throat> so most of her soaps are based on beers from Quebec. From what I see, there's beer in the soap. It doesn't have a beer scent by any means. It's actually a very pleasant scent. This one's like a, kind of a vanilla raspberry. Hmm. Can't quite pick up the other scent. There seems to be a hint, a very, very slight hint of licorice in there, but that that's probably just to my nose like it's not strong not like a pungent licorice smell like uh, if people don't like licorice you, that's not the first scent you get it's definitely like a fruity fruity vanilla scent off there so i'll be using my <clears throat> rockwell razor i always call it we call it razo rock rockwell razor synthetic which is available on the website along with this soap um the uh, razor I'm going to be using today is a classic Gillette ball in tech in gold gold plated. I don't I don't know if they'd call this aristocrat. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a it's basically a Gillette tech with uh, gold plating and it's the ball in style. I'm doing a feather blade in that. Take a look at this guy plating still in great shape. Fantastic little razor. They're a little aggressive. Uh, just the blade angle on them is a little more upright than the than the modern. Um, razors <laughs> they have a little bit more of an angle so it's just a matter of getting your your technique down with them and they usually give you a pretty pretty good shave the one issue with those guys is the blade overhang occasionally gets you I don't know if you guys can see that there but it overhangs a bit so when you're working around your nose it kind of gets you <laughs> you gotta be a little bit careful so just loading this guy up this is a very uh thick soap base and it's a harder base it, it does have so, sorry it is it is soft but it's it's definitely a harder soft so i wouldn't call this a crop at all so it does uh drink up the water pretty quickly and turn to paste fairly quickly so it, it's capable of taking a, a fair amount of water so i will be bowl lathering this guy so again we're using the shave bowl so for the, those of you that haven't seen this, this is available on our website. So the soap goes in this guy, and it can sit in there all the, all the time. Your brush goes in here, razor goes in here, and that just sits on your counter. You lather in here. This is awesome for people that have smaller bathrooms or uh, very small spaces on top of their sink. It just razor, brush, soap, everything you need to make a shave. These things are pretty awesome. It looks smooth inside, but it is a bit of a... I wouldn't say rubberized coating, but there is a coating of some sort that gives it some texture on the bowl. It's easy to grip, which is nice, and it also helps when you're building lather. This thing builds up lather very well. Sometimes with the more robust soaps, you get some lather spilling over the edge, but for the most part, it's fairly deep compared to some of the other lather bowls out there. And it whips up really good. When you get this stuff whipped up, it's absolutely amazing. 
the scent that comes off there you get yeah it's definitely like a i don't know i don't know if it's licorice that's in there some sort of maybe there's anise in there like that's obviously the base of licorice but uh not sure sure exactly what it is but it's got that little hint in there could be the beer possibly the beer coming through kind of gives that little hint of something but it's a very earthy fruity definitely get the raspberry and vanilla in there it's a sweet nice just very pleasant scent it's not overpowering but it's just just the right scent strength so no issues with this soap the lather is extremely robust and like i said it will <laughs> spill out over the edge but that's going to happen with every single lather bowl actually this is one of the better ones for sure for keeping the lather in there the nice thing most of the time it just goes up on the ridge there with some of the thinner lather bowls it spills over the edge and you can't get it the lather seems to stick to this pretty good so it doesn't fall off and flop on the floor that coating definitely holds it holds it there so you can just scoop it up and put it back like this is absolutely ridiculous look at this the lather is insane on this guy I didn't even load that much this is this is pretty impressive great job Marilyn Marilyn I believe it's Marilyn <laughs> that makes it so oh I'm just making a complete disaster look at all this this is just what happened to fall on my fingers <laughs> while I'm lathering fantastic fantastic scent so there's some good good butters good oils in there i really like her base even her towel base is pretty phenomenal <laughs> there was my brush right into my right into my water so that should be fun oh it floated the tips stayed out of the water so i just gotta shake it out a little bit hopefully it won't mess me up too bad nope Still lathering up good. All right, so let's put it on. Again, like I said, really nice, sweet little hints of raspberry. Doesn't smell like synthetic raspberry. Nice vanilla, and it's like a, again, it's not that synthetic smelling vanilla. It's more like vanilla bean. Just a phenomenal, and it's probably real bit vanilla because typically when you're making soap and you use a vanilla based fragrance oil it will turn the color of your soap a little a little bit to the brown side so if i wash uh maybe not yeah it's got a little hint of brown in there so it's probably based on a real vanilla scent so we will get to her here so Gillette Tech. This is a classic. If you're shaving like grandpa, this is definitely what grandpa used. This is potentially what great grandpa used. And it's it's just a great performer. They cut real good. They're not overly mild like uh, the super speeds. If you like something a little more aggressive, these are definitely a little more aggressive. They don't seem like the blade gap's bigger, but just the angle is more like uh it's more similar to the angle that you would hold your straight at so that's why you definitely get tactile feedback from this this blade and you can pick up text fairly cheap if you go into antique stores you can probably pick up one with some plating issues and things like that you probably get them around the $15 10 $15 sometimes 20 bucks which is good considering the thing is probably over a hundred years old now so residual slickness and dry shaving it's going okay i don't see any ble bleeding or anything so i went for this soap because i definitely wanted to showcase a canadian artisan on our channel as quickly as possible and i don't want to put our soap instantly obviously i'm going to say it's fantastic because it's my own soap but i love my soap it is one of my favorites because I took a long time to get the formula just right for what I like. But um, there's also some phenomenal, phenomenal Canadian soaps 
that we carry, this definitely being one of them, she's a very talented soap maker. She makes great stuff. Her scents are absolutely awesome. Like my favorites are the mang mango one that she makes, which we have on our website. And uh, she's also got this new one, La Criminelle, and the scent is, I can't even describe that scent, but it's it's good. It's just good. You should just do it and, and buy it and use it because it's awesome. I, <laughs> I'm definitely lacking in what the scent profile would be. My articulation isn't isn't very good on that one, but it's it's a fantastic smell. Um, <laughs> it escapes me right now. Scent description is on our website, so you can check it out there. Um, yeah, it's a good group of soap she does a really awesome job she makes these ones that smell like maple and pancakes and absolutely amazing things and she's got this one raz bucket she's got another one uh raz oh i can't remember the name of it it escapes me she made it specifically for female shavers um but it's definitely it smells kind of gender neutral enough anybody could use it too something too yeah anyways it's on our website as well um so that is is available there and what else yeah just this soap she's got this soap in this base and she's also got this soap in in the blue base which is the tallow base it's not blue in color but the picture on the front instead of being the green dude it's a it's a blue background and they're all based on like i said Quebec uh craft beers so that was pass number one Feels pretty good. So let's get past number two going here. So like I said, it's been beautiful outside. Unfortunately, like we went up to plus 25 this week. That's in Canadian measurement. Metric. <laughs> um, plus 25, unfortunately supposed to go down to 11 a low, or a high of 11 tomorrow and a low of zero so we're potentially getting snow flurries again and then supposed to go back up to 11 and back up to 19 again i don't know what's going on our weather has been absolutely insane in calgary there's been rainstorms snowstorms um everything dry out completely plus 15 middle of january and then boom we get hit with another snowstorm i don't know what's going on I am pretty sick of it. Uh, I was pretty happy with today. Plus 25, sunny, you know, two clouds in the sky. That's about it. And it was just amazing. But now, of course, we're back to craziness again. You can hear my children yelling in the background, I'm sure. So we want to cross the grain this, this pass. My grain's a little, a little wonky on my face. I am razor buffing, but the nice thing about this soap, it's slick enough, you can razor buff. Unless you got really sensitive skin, I suppose, but skin's holding up pretty good. It gives you a good cushion, good slickness, great scent, lather's awesome. I could have lathered this up more, I know, but my second pass, I don't usually do a big, thick lather on. So... It is uh, getting close to summer. Very much looking forward to it. We have a lake about two blocks from our house. So we'll bring the kids over there. My other kids are in Kelowna, BC. So we got three kids out there. There's a beautiful lake out there. So we plan on spending some time by the beach, hopefully, with the munchkins. We got a five and two year old still at home. Looking forward to uh, getting them out swimming and everything. They love swimming. All right. And these textures. Unfortunately, with this feather, they're, these are very good shavers, and the feathers are very sharp blades. So you tend to rush through your shave a little bit, which could be bad. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see how this. I just went. I blew through that pass, I realized. I'm thinking to myself, ooh, how, how's my face going to feel at the end of this? Again, just great. Feels fantastic. Oh, man. Awesome. So, don't 
know if I gotta do against the grain. Well, maybe we'll just do it again. Still, like I didn't load this up crazy, crazy. There's still a ton. Thing is, there's enough soap content. Like I, for these videos, I don't normally I lather and lather and lather and get tons of billowing lather out of these guys. I don't do that much for these shave videos, but like even with this little bit of lather, I could probably get another three passes out of this stuff. Like it lathers up so well. Scent strength's awesome. Like if you're looking for a good all-around soap, you will be very happy with. Raz Blocket is definitely the one. Nice thing is it's not too sweet for the guys I hate this sweet sense. It's still got a little bit of that earthy scent. The the vanilla, like I said, it's natural vanilla. Natural smelling vanilla. The uh, nice thing is, you know, I usually get sensitivity around my mouth if there's some weird ingredients or anything like that. This one's great. I've never had any reaction to this soap. Um, was I saying, you know, the earthiness, like I said, it's got a little bit of a touch of anise or something in there. Gives it a little bit of earthy, just warm, good sense. So it's kind of an in-between. You can, you can do this one in winter or summer. It should give you a great shave, feel good, smell good. Okay. So we might not do an exact against the grain. I might do a crisscross here and get some pretty weird weird growth in my neck area here. So I do actually have to hit it at some weird angles if I really want to get BBS smooth shave and everybody that sees me do that sees me do this cringes because obviously everybody's neck's very sensitive. So we will power through it here, get the last little bit. You know, we got all these fancy razors and all this stuff out there. Cool stuff coming out every year. Everybody's spending hundreds of dollars on razors, but man, these old techs are pretty proficient shavers. I'm very impressed. Does a great job. I don't think anything like slides across my face as quick as, as this little thing. So pretty cool. Got some soap up my nose. <laughs> oh, okay. So I don't have a splash to match this guy. So I decided to go with one of my favorite scents. One of our more popular scents for uh, definitely for summertime. Even for winter, it's got a bit of a spice to it. So Mary Pickford, Prohibition style Mary Pickford. So this is a witch hazel based um, splash that we make. So it's witch hazel, um, aloe vera. <laughs> you think I know by now. Witch hazel, aloe vera, and glycerin. And then uh, the scent and distilled water and stuff like that. So because we don't use any emulsifiers or anything like that, you will need to uh, shake this before you use it, but they're a fairly strong scented uh, aftershave. So if you don't like really strong, just pour a few little bit in your hand, add some water to it, and it should dilute it. Or you can take this and dump it actually into a larger bottle. You can probably add another ounce of distilled water to this. Still have a lot of the good stuff from the witch hazel and everything like that, but make it go a little bit longer. Ounce, maybe even two ounces. You probably go up to six ounce, seven ounce bottle with this guy. So the scent on this is figured if we're going raspberry we can mix a little cherry so it's cherry pineapple uh bay rum and that's it so it's a spiced bay rum so uh it's got a spicy notes pineapple notes cherry notes it's not too it's not too uh overpowering it's nice it's really fresh right off the bat you get that pineapple right away and then it finishes kind of a black cherry. It's not that, that, uh, yeah, it's more, not maraschino cherry, more of a black cherry. And then uh, kind of finishes with the bay rum, a little bit of spice at the end. It's nice. One of my favorite scents. It took me a while to get that one just right in the splash, and I'm very happy I spent the time. So, 
that pretty much sums up our sheave. Just to recap again, that is Raz Bucket for the shave soap. Prohibition style Mary Pickford for the splash. We use the shave bowl. We use the razor rock. <laughs> I did it again. Rockwell razor synthetic. And we used a Gillette Ball and Tech. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Let me know below what kind of shaves you'd like to see, how you'd like to see them done, any products specifically you want me to do. And uh, we'll check those out for you. Check out prohibitionstyle.com for all of our uh, updated news. Of course, our, our shop is on there, so all of our shaving products and everything you can purchase from there. Tons of different manufacturers we're selling. Also, follow us on Instagram. We do a lot of giveaways and things like that. It's at Prohibition Style. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thank you so much. Check it out. We're committed to the art and nothing. Stop us. Not even.